Good day. The purpose of this video is to build on your understanding of social constructions and to understand better how difference is socially constructed. So to review, remember that social constructions are these shared understandings that are jointly accepted that form a basis of shared assumptions about reality. And remember the example about breakfast foods in the United States and how different they are uh, breakfast can be around the world. So the outcome addressed is explain how difference is socially constructed. So when we talk about the social construction of difference, the difference becomes notable when we name it and we assign value to it. So what does that look like? We're talking about people. We're basically talking about assigning a value or a hierarchy to uh, differences in social characteristics. So remember social characteristics, here's your social identity wheel um, that you have in your textbook, this term. And then here's another identity wheel from the reading that you're doing this week by Alan Johnson. And very similar, you'll see that a lot of the same things appear on both wheels. And what's important about that is that these characteristics tend to have hierarchies assigned to them within our society that we may not even realize we've done. So just for example, if we take this marital status, in general, we would say that in our society, we perceive people more positively who are married or who have stayed married than people who have divorced. And that's an example of assigning a value to a difference, to socially constructed constructing a difference in those behaviors. So um, Johnson talks about quick and unconscious impressions. You probably know this as implicit bias, as we've been talking about. And these are based on assumptions. For example, to assume people are heterosexual, straight, unless proven otherwise. Or if they look white, they are white. We don't tend to question these assumptions unless we run into someone who doesn't fit neatly into a category that we have socially constructed in our head. Unless a culture defines such differences as significant, they are socially irrelevant. So that's the important part. That's, the, that's how we socially construct difference. If we don't see them as important, then they don't have that value assigned to them. So for example, in talking about skin color, our culture over hundreds of years has assigned value to differences in, in skin color. And we don't even maybe realize that we still have those um, ideas embedded in our society. What makes this powerful is that we often don't even recognize they exist. We think that this is just the way things are. And so when we name something and we give a value to it, it becomes this idea of a reality when actually it's socially constructed within our shared <laughs> minds and in our um, shared assumptions about reality. So I hope that this has helped you see how difference is socially constructed.